Well, we made it from Minnesota all the way down to Arkansas. Um, we're down here with my brother Tim. He's right here. How y'all doing? And uh, he's a little bit of a redneck. Makes it always an interesting experience to go fishing with him. He's not as much of a redneck as he used to be. Uh, he's I don't married. Drink, he's, I don't drink near as much. As I <laughs> that's right. He's married to Becky. She's made him really sophisticated. He's got a sweet daughter over there, Sophie. She's also a fisherwoman. I don't know if she's going with us or not. She's a four-wheeler ride. Yeah. Woo! So anyway, we're going to go out on Lake, which is a lake right here in the community that they live on. Uh, he said that the uh, red ears, are, which is a brim, species of brim, they're uh, starting to bed up. We're going to use crickets, and we're going to do the very best we can to see if we can catch a whole pile of bluegills. Well, red we call them bluegills out. probably be mixed bluegills yeah. and red ears. But uh, we're going to try to catch a pile of brim, I guess is what you'd say. Uh, up in the Midwest, they call them bluegills, but down here it's brim. So we're going to catch a pile of those, and uh, and uh, we'll get out on the water, and hopefully we'll get into them using crickets. So. Obvious that my brother's already drunk because he's already got us going. I ain't, going I, <laughs> it ain't, I ain't have a one beer. About the wind be blowing too much. I, I think we'll go up in this cove or something. I don't know. There's, I found them in both places. Right. Well, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find one. Nah, you're the guide. I can't. I'm running the boat. <laughs> I'm running the boat. <laughs> The guide's supposed to take care of us. You're supposed to take care of us. What kind of a guide is this? You know, I gotta tell you the truth here. You know, I come down here to go fishing, and I guy if I were guiding him, I'd be doing everything. So we're gonna be using crickets. We're using a long shanked uh real hook. And uh, Tim's using a, a float or bobber. anchored and the wind's blowing the right direction so we can cast a long way and hopefully we can cast into the bed without drifting into it. Uh, you don't want to get on top of them because it'll spook them. Uh, it doesn't take long till they'll bite again but it's nice if you don't have to get on top of them. So I'm going to hook this right through the collar here and hook him on like that and we'll catch a fish or two. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be tight lining. Uh, what I'm going to do is cast and let my bait drop to the bottom. The fish are on, near the bottom. Hopefully they'll pick it up before it gets there. And then I'll work it back. <clears throat> All right. So this is what we're trying to catch. This is a red ear. Uh, in Louisiana they call them chinky pins, and they used to call them government and uh, brim. But this one isn't as big as we might be catching. But we're just now starting to find out where they're at. A little bit of fight to it, so it's probably bigger. It might be a red ear. I don't know. Ah, uh, he's little one. He's a little bluegill or sunny. Tim and I came back out. This is the next day. This is the second day we've been out, and we're kind of working the banks looking for areas that have a, a discoloration in the water 
and we found an area right in here it's close to the bank and the water's got a different tone to it and so I've cast in there twice and it's where they're uh, it's I've cast in there twice and that's where the uh, red ears uh, are are making their beds uh, to spawn so I caught two already and so we pulled out the camera and we're gonna see if I can catch another one in here I guess I I may be a little bit too far out with this cast, but I'm going to let it sit for a second. There it goes, right there. Oh, he got off. But the wind's working, in, the wind is working in our favor because uh, we anchored up above and the wind is keeping us, uh, the boat blowing so that we're we can have an easy access and the wind's working so we can cast into that spot instead of having to cast against it. Um, it's, it is a hard day to be fishing because if you have to cast into the wind, it makes everything more difficult. So. All right, here we go. Try it again. All right, it did hit the water there. We'll zoom in on it. There he is. And he's got him. All right, zoom out and let's get him. Huh? Zoom, zoom. out and let's pull it up uh, where I get him. Well, and there, it's a it's bluegill, a blue not a red ear, but. It's a bluegill. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we drifted a little bit. We might have done drifted up in there and scared him out of there. Try it again here. There he is. Got it. Yeah, got it. Got it. I think this is a red ear too, way he's fighting. There you go. I wonder if that's a bluegill bed or, or some of it anyway. I don't know. I'm going to bring this one up close. The reason they call these bluegills is if you can see right in there, right on the bottom part of the gill plate. It's just a uh, beautiful turquoise blue. Hopefully I can catch that. All right. So red, these, are, these are bluegills. Red ear. I'm going to pull out a red ear here. Red ear and get bigger. Well, that's a smaller yeah, one. Let me grab red one. ear. It's a bigger red ear. And this is a red ear. And I don't red. know if we can get it, but up in here, right, right around the... Uh, there's a flap on the gill plate, and that has a red, a little bit of a red ridge, or an orange ridge right there. Some of them are real bright, bright red on the edge. Got him? All right, he's got one on. That is. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, um, we've caught a few here on camera and we're going to go ahead and keep fishing this hole. And then uh, what we'll probably do is if we fish this one to where it's not much happening we'll drift down and see if we can find another spot where the water's discolored there's a lot of ways to fish uh, for uh, red ears and for bluegills all the uh, we call them brim in the south uh, all the panfish they're very aggressive and it's really a good way to start your fishing if you're if you haven't fished a lot I recommend that you uh, fish for bluegills because they are aggressive you can use a lot of different baits uh, we've used uh, artificial beetles, uh, artificial uh, tube jigs, uh, uh, we're using crickets, fishing them off the bottom, and also use worms. Use worms. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a good way to start. So it's a good way to take the kids out. Uh, that way they won't get bored the first time and then don't want to go fishing again.